cutting the DNA molecule to pieces. The back end of that sword that it created of intelligence, the whiplash of intelligence, is the fact that intelligence can look at the game, look at the apes, look at the morons playing it, and find it obnoxiously stupid, can critique it to pieces, can see the grotesque inefficiency, this whole idea that you're somehow going to win by destroying things of equal value to yourself. There's no way to do that. It's nonsensical. And there's something intelligence can make out of it. You know, they keep talking as if we're going to learn some new fact out in the world. There's some fact out here floating around, like there's a stick on a string there. Maybe that's the cure for all our problems, stick on a string. I tend to doubt it. I tend to doubt that there's any, there's no prospects out there. You're not going to find a truth in the cosmos or out here or in the ground. You can dig into the planet Earth forever and there's not going to be some fact there that's going to make this game make sense. It's going to be a replicating molecule, billions of years of evolution to tool modify organisms to fight in a silly fight for a pointless idiotic victory. To climb a hill of nonsense and declare yourself victor and then you get struck by lightning and die. Or in some other manner you're thrown off the top of the hill so somebody else can hold up their sword and say I win for five minutes. And that's all there is. And it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it certainly shouldn't be subsidized. You certainly shouldn't be putting your money in the machine to make more of it. You should be thinking and caring about maybe trying to wind it down. Stop winding this clock, because it ticks in blood and horror. If you look at it, you're fair. And you're not going to be able to make something out of it. It's not going to turn into some sort of pretty thing. It's not its nature. It's not within its potentiality. Because unlike us, we live in a world where we can solve a problem. There's problem all around us. There's things in trouble. There's things that need all around us. So we can resolve need. But our existence itself, the existence of this biological mass on this planet can't serve any need, can't satisfy any need. It can't function, it can't do a positive thing until you make the negative thing. These are fundamental arguments that there has been no utterance, no sound, no word that can undo the truth of it. That there's no need to be served by our existence. It can't be productive because there's no destructive to fix. You can only be productive if you're fixing something that's intrinsically broken or fundamentally wrong or fundamentally flawed. So you have to make the freaking imperfection first to even have the pretense of achieving your perfection. This logical quandary of the futility of this pursuit of a better game is just stupid. Certainly you can make the game less horrible. Certainly you can improve on the bad game we're playing. But there is no good game to play. If it was your job to make a gift for the universe, what would you give it? A headache and then give it an aspirin? There's no way you can give it something because it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need to be fixed. It's not broken until you show up.